It's become a familiar sight in recent weeks. A home goes up in flames in the city of Marion after being struck by lightning. This home left with thousands of dollars in damage. But as Eyewitness News reporter Addy Guajardo shows us, there are steps you can take to minimize the damage if your home is struck by lightning. Lightning. It's an unpredictable force of Mother Nature. And within hours, a lightning storm overnight sparked at least four house fires in San Antonio and another in Guadalupe County, according to officials. For a homeowner in Cibolo, lightning close to home sparked a change. Several houses in our neighborhood have burnt down over the past several years, and we were terrified every time a lightning storm and a thunderstorm rolled through town. It's why she decided to install lightning rods. If you look up um, at the chimney, you'll see one on there. Marty Hamilton says he's installed about a dozen in this area. The lightning rods up on the roof is, is basically going to capture the charge. In the event it does get hit, it, it's going to follow to this cable. He says the cables will help safely ground the electrical discharge. Interconnects all the lightning rods together under one circuitry to help prevent the, uh, damage uh, or a potential fire. <coughs> the protection system is estimated to cost up to three thousand dollars for a twenty five hundred square foot home. We sleep more soundly at night when storms roll through. Comparing it to what you could lose was worth every single penny. Lightning rods are not required in homes in Bear County or Guadalupe County. Addie Guajardo, Ken's 5 Eyewitness News.